你好。An 80s Taiwanese song goes, 爱拼才会赢。三分天注定，七分靠打拼，爱拼才会赢。Translated the lines of the song, 30% faith, 70% hard work. And a fighting spirit is needed in order to win. The term "fight" here, as you know, is not literally fighting, but striving. In Chinese, to strive, pia, which character is situated or is attended by the radical so or han, and ping. To combine, to merge, the message of the Taiwanese song, therefore, is a spirit of striving is needed in order to win, at and in things one does. Prior to the onset of disruptions caused by continued developments in technology. Striving was a matter of relying on just two factors: IQ and EQ. At this stage, perhaps I should not saying, or I should not be saying, just IQ and EQ. Developing these two quotients is rigorous as it is. You see, IQ is not only fluency or mem memorization training. It is not only about increasing volume of facts or fit bits of knowledge that one can accumulate. For example, we increase a person's IQ by stimulating his mind with books and videos. In case of a child, we sometimes enroll him in school, in summer school. We are establishing fluency or memorization training. But developing IQ does not stop with the accumulation of retained knowledge. It is all about fluid intelligence. Fluid intelligence, that is a capacity to learn, retain, process, and use this new information. A Chinese saying goes, "Bu jin ze tui," no advancement is regression. IQ development is concerned, therefore, with Continuous exposure to new things that challenge a person to think creatively. This process must be a continuing one to enable a person to develop sophisticated intelligences and systems of abilities required of the times. EQ works. Much the same way, while referring to a person's ability to understand, use, and manage his own emotions in positive way to relieve stress, communicate, empathize with others, and overcome changes, IQ is not a static number, existing independently in a person's surroundings. The only thing constant in this world is change. As persons are continuously exposed to new stimuli, EQ is a lifetime practice requiring self-observation, awareness, self-evaluation, and a sense of responsibility for the self and the other. 
IQ and EQ does require sustained human effort. Pia. They are the result of pagpupunyagi. Technology, however, is fast changing the world, the way we do things on day-to-day -day basis. Knowledge, as often said, is literally at one's fingertips. I Google mo is often the response to a question propounded to someone who is also unfamiliar of the topic. With just one click of the mouse, one is able to learn how to tie a tie, bake a ube pandesal or lasagna, know which article to read and what plantita group to join. Song to search. I Google mo. Does this mean technology can and will do away with the need to build, retain knowledge and understanding? Or the need to be, build emotional strength and awareness of the self and the surrounding? Certainly not, as what our experiences show. Through a developed IQ, we are better able to tell facts from bits found in the internet, process data gathered, use them according to our needs. The ability to discriminate and discern and apply according to the needs of a particular circumstances is an ability that only comes from an IQ. Thus, while anyone can find 12 Chinese equivalents of words like in Google Translate, only a person who had previously strived to understand the nuances of the Chinese language and its culture to be able to correctly choose which of the 12 he would need for this or for his purpose. Through a developed EQ, we are able to deal responsibly with and bravely face the digital world. The World Wide Web can be a harsh world, in some cases, harsher than the physical world if I may say, in the internet, individuals are able to create alter egos to, that harm the right or less out the others because of the elimination of the face-to-face -face encounter. To borrow from Levinas, incidents of theft lying, bullying are prevalent. While there are laws targeted to curb these evils, the implementations of the laws will do little to mend the psyche of a battered soul. An EQ makes us stronger, better digital citizens. Perhaps who are aware of many dangers lurking in the digital world, but who are able to protect themselves, maintain their values, and participate responsibly in the virtual realm. Pure IQ, pure EQ, won't produce the winning combination in today's world. Like it or not, internet and technology is increasing, becoming part of our lives. Striving hard would mean not only learning, accumulating knowledge and awareness, but also developing digital quotient. DQ, 
is not just about latest technological advancements such as 5G, new release gadgets, or knowing and learning to operate softwares and command hardwares. The striving individual of today must be equipped with DQ, that is socio-emotional competencies, learning, way of lives and living that is or can be seamlessly integrated with technology. The digital realm is a melting pot of culture composed of persons like you and me. Users of World Wide Web. On one hand, there are consumers of data and services that are targeted to make physical life easier. On the other hand, there are producers of data and suppliers of online services. Like-minded persons are able to band together and interact through applications and social media groups which are in themselves small countries having their own terms of use, rules of engagement. Interaction may range from sending some simple emoticons, GIFs to occasional greetings, and even full blast interactions. The digital realm is a virtual world wider in scope and reach than can ever be imagined. Unlike the physical world, which can be navigated with maps, no such thing exists in the virtual world. It is the DQ that helps us navigate through this. I have mentioned that the internet with its sites enables contact interaction among several persons of different backgrounds. Before, interactions between people rely on verbal and nonverbal cues such as body language. In the virtual world, communications is on steroids. There are verbal cues, micro-verbal cues, such as twitching eyes during a video conference call, emojis, and jiffies. The emojis and jiffies are tricky. One may send a smiley when in fact he is already raging mad and he may send a jiffies that supposedly makes a joke out of what he is seriously feeling. A DQ enables us to process this data and discern the real meaning behind the communication of a speaker. More than discerning the other's intent and feeling, DQ enables us to appropriately react to circumstances as they arise. It is the reason why we reach out a colleague or a friend when we see his profile picture change to pure black, whether sending a plain text messages or proverbs or two, a scriptures or Bible verse. Through exposure to new experiences, we are able to identify that emojis, thumbs up and claps are verbal equivalents of verbal affirmations of good job, congratulations, originally appearing in text messages. They made their way to social media platforms. And now we find them 
as part of the indispensable tools of interactions in our online learning platform. DQ helps us in discernment of fake news and facing activities, in thinking critically and in making decision of our own purposes. Part of DQ is knowing and leading a life that is seamlessly integrated with technology. Assimilation and processing of information is not done blindly. Rather, through DQ, a person is able to gauge the suitability and adaptability of a technology for his purpose. Seamless adaptability of technology as DQ can be illustrated how the Chinese have adapted technology into their lives. In China, it is possible to go out of one's house bringing nothing other than a mobile phone. In that mobile phone, our business, money, transportation options, restaurant reservation, and credits at the person's fingertip. So, integrated is technology in the lives of the Chinese that the government is able to implement the social credit system which is a system that evaluates citizens and businesses economic and social reputation as with iq and eq dq is not a constant quotient it must be developed and attuned to the times because the virtual world is a vibrant one it changes from time to time. And riding on waves of change initiated by the actors in the ecosystem. DQ must likewise match to its fluidity. IQ, EQ, DQ. The three quotients that make up the 70 percent hard work required to strive. A constantly developing IQ, EQ, and DQ enables us to transcend from being consumers and reactors to makers, processors, and utilizers of information. It makes us winners in our own life. We can do more with internet. We can reach and influence more people, meet more groups, and participate in meetings in different places, different countries even. We can learn more from each other differences by sharing each other experiences. We can create a new educational material from novel things learned in the World Wide Web. Even businesses may be born out of selected information from the internet. Opportunities are limitless. The little combination of the three quotients enables a person to break free from the confines of his physical realm to find, productively interact with a community of like-minded individuals, and in some cases, produce the fire that will light a generation. For this reason, strive. Mm -hmm.